Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to give my car a bit of a clean. And obviously the first thing I do when I'm cleaning the car is clean my wheels. So this is my usual setup, pressure washer, um, wheel bucket with various brushes, and actually something new to try out in here as well, which is this little mini um, half hand mitt, I guess. So I feel like this will be really good for cleaning the wheels. Um, and then what I usually do, unless the wheels are really dirty, is I just use some PNS Brake Buster. Um, generally just use it in a foam cannon, diluted about, I don't know, half half basically, but just whatever, I don't really measure it. And the same in a spray bottle. Um, so generally, and I use a rolling stool, and I'll roll this out, put the bucket down, and I'll just carry it around um, and do wheel to wheel while I'm sitting on the stool with my pressure washer. But actually was at Autobahn the other day and saw this there. So I thought this would be perfect. I don't really need something like this for my other buckets because I don't really do a two bucket wash very often. Um, I use like the zero bucket method. So, but for the wheels, obviously we need a bucket and I usually have a few things that I need to carry around with it. So I thought this would be really handy because it is, as you can see, deluxe bucket dolly. So yeah, I thought I'll grab this out. I'll grab this and we'll try it out. So I guess let's open this up and I believe we'll have to just quickly set it up. Okay, yeah, it looks like we have to put the wheels on, but that's what we have, so should be pretty handy. Let's just quickly make sure the wheel bucket actually fits. Yep, so that fits well. A little bit extra in case you have a bigger bucket. Um, so yeah, it looks like I just have to put some, some wheels on it. So I'm going to quickly do that, obviously being in this box. Um, get it set up and let's uh, test this thing out and give our wheels a good clean on the Evo 10. All right, so got it set up, got our wheels on. Seems like it rolls pretty well and it came with these for, I'm guessing, tightening the bucket. Um, if you want to leave it in there permanently, which I probably don't, but I guess you could sit it in there, tighten these right up so that then you could just uh, lift the handle of the bucket and move the dolly as well. But yeah, I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to um, push it along. So it should be fine. A little bit of movement is fine by me. So yeah, let's, um, let's first look. let's see how these products sit in there. So our foam cannon, where do we want to sit it? There you go, perfect for a foam cannon over there. Um, our wheel cleaner, yep, perfect there. And then if you have a bottle like this, I guess, not quite. Probably have to sit it, or you could just hang it over and you could at least still push the bucket around. Um, but yeah, if you have any other round bottle, or if this wasn't such a large bottle of this style, it would probably fit in there quite well. Which I'll actually, I'll quickly check that. Okay, so say I was using this to put on my wheels afterwards, that will fit well. Just this is a super wide base on this Dadden's one, but yeah, either way we can just hang it off there and we're good to go. So yeah, let's go ahead, fill the bucket up. So get some water in there. Today for my wheel soap, I'm going to use the Shine Supply Shine Soap. Alright, so hopefully you can see, I've put the GoPro on my head. So, 
First thing, we've got the bucket. Because my driveway's on a bit of an incline, it is going to roll away, but I'm just using the hose is basically holding in place. Actually, no, it's sitting there fine. So yeah, we can see we've got everything set up, easy access to our bottles that we need. So let's just give it a first quick rinse and get the excess dust off it. Okay, so now we'll use our foam cannon and PNS brake buster. So yeah, definitely got that all over the car, which I didn't want to do, so I'll just rinse some of that off. Okay. Get our wheel wool in. And then start off with my wheel woolly for getting in the back of the barrels, but I always grab this easy detail brush because as you can see, the brake calipers are extremely close to the wheel. So there's not really much I can get in that gap unless I want to move the car sort of backwards and forwards. So yeah, always use one of these because these will go completely flat and fit in that area. They're also great for the guard lining. Uh, we do need to get the larger version of this. This is like the mini one, so we'll get the bigger one. But yeah, then we also have the, the mini wheel bully. Now this fits in the caliper in the middle spot, but not down the bottom, so it's not really much use. Um, but yeah, also helpful. So now I want to try out this new little half hand mitt thing that I've picked up. So I feel like this will be really good for, normally I just use a brush for this whole sort of area. Um, but yeah, I feel like this will be good for getting the back down into the brake caliper, yeah, the back of these spokes. Yeah, much easier than what I usually do is get a brush and you know, go like this. So yeah, I'll do a combination. So I'll still get the brush for getting into the lugs. But yeah, this thing's really handy. Okay, so then usually do the tires, so I'll spray the brake buster on. Get my sort of hard bristled tire brush. Not that these tires are really dirty and need to be scrubbed down, but just for the sake of it. There we go. Let's give the brake caliper a quick wipe. And we'll rinse that down.
grab our touchless sealant. So still using the Bowden's own wet dreams at the moment, but as you guys know, I've got a few different ones on the go, which I'm testing out. And we'll just give it a little bit of a spray. And rinse that off. There we go, wheel is clean, except for the areas that I didn't really get too well because I was kind of more focusing on filming. Um, last little rinse there. Yeah, so wheel's clean, um, pretty happy with this dolly. So now, all I have to do to move on to the next wheel, Yeah, a bit easier than picking up and carrying, so um, there you go. Alright guys, so there you go, just a quick little video, and just basically how I clean my wheels, um, and also just testing out this wheel bucket. What I think I'm going to do is drill a hole, because I actually, um, when I was filling this bucket up, the hose actually popped back out and kind of started spraying everywhere. So. Um, but what I could see happening is when you're sort of constantly moving brushes in and out, you know, dripping water, it's going to get a bit filled up. So I'm just going to drill probably a hole in a few of these areas just to sort of act as like drain plugs, I guess. Um, but yeah, I really like this thing. Super easy to use. Um, there's obviously been sort of bucket dollies that you can connect your rinse and your wash bucket together for a while, which I consider grabbing, but as I said at the start, I don't really do the two bucket method very often. What I usually mainly use is just a bucket for wheels. Um, so this is pretty handy to me. I just like that I can, because um, like it's easy enough to hang spray triggers off the side, but what I found is I was constantly knocking over my foam cannon um, so yeah, something a little bit easier and obviously you could store like brushes and stuff um, into these areas if you wanted to. Say if you were cleaning a really dirty wheel um, like I did recently in, in a video and you've used your brush and it's completely black and covered in crap and you don't want to put it back in to your bucket you want to then go to the next brush and not be contaminating the water too much. You could sit them down there. They're not in the ground picking up gravel or anything. And then come back with your pressure washer, rinse it off and go back into the bucket. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it and a quick little test. Um, I'm going to continue finishing my wheels and give the car a wash. But yes, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And yeah, if you aren't already subscribed, definitely consider subscribing to the channel to see plenty more detailing videos, reviews, tests, and comparisons. Um, there's a lot more to come on the channel. So yeah, hopefully you guys are keen for that. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.